Hello everyone, Mr. Zas here, dropping another video. Unfortunately, I made a first one for this video and then I messed everything up and I need to re-record everything from scratch again. But yeah, I mean the biggest fight of the year, I suppose. AJ versus Dylan White. Two. Well, let's get into it. So people, this is actually make or break fight. This is that Willy Wonka golden ticket opportunity for each of the boxes. And as you see, guys, you hear it. There is rematch clause included from AJ said. So he is considering a possibility of loss. It could happen. Remember, both boxes were at the peak. They started off way back in the face fight as amateurs. They had bad blood. Look at this. They had amazing face fight. And this face fight pretty much put on um, the career for White, it literally started career for White because he went there and then he he just pushed it onwards that like, wow, this is actually generating me lots of money, right? This is a career path for someone. And he did, I mean, White has done, I would say, very well as a boxer. Besides chasing down a WBC belt, I think he should just have done and go for one of the three belts and he would have achieved his goal of becoming a champion. I mean, because he has beaten champions in the past ex-champions so yeah people who think this was gonna be boring fight i don't i don't think so i really don't think so i understand aj he's he's bit kind of a defensive side lately he does not want to get into so much scrap but then again dylan white is opposite his chin is kind of slipping let's let's say his chin is slipping lately if he's playing defense, that's not a good thing to do, guys, you know. You are taking more chances playing defense than you're taking offense, you know. So, I assume Dylan White will going to be aggressive. And we know that if AJ is being pushed, he retracts. Okay, it's not the same old AJ who just going to stand in the middle of the ring and going to throw the shots. Not since Andy Ruiz Jr. fight. I don't know. In my eyes, something, something happened after that fight. Something did. And that's why I think this will going to be amazing fight. And just look at the statistics. AJ has generated about 1.1 million pay-per-views in last five fights. Since on every single fight, averagely. So I assume minimum he's going to do it again. People going to tune in. I think he's going to get close to like 1.4, 1.5. I think he's going to get 1.4 million pay-per-views. And boxing, again, will going to be pushed up front, that's if he wins, you know, I, I think people are still going to tune in, but yeah, um, when the big boxing fights happen, man, the industry of boxing, overall as a sport, it flourishes, and that's why 2023 has been so slow, because lately, all I see with all the boxers, it's all about the bag, it's all about the bag, I mean, look at this, yeah, Chisora eating his burgers again with Tyson Fury. It's like in one moment the guy is screaming war and how I gonna remove your head. And next moment he's eating burgers. So this is the issue people. People are saying WWE is fake. But is boxing real? How, how can you say that these fighters when they get in the ring they left everything. How can you even put the odds or betting on there when after the fight you know they shake hands, they kiss each other and they like... Was this actually for real? Did they actually try to win the fight? Or did they just step in the ring and he was like, you know what, who cares? I still get paid. You know, I'm just gonna last 12 rounds. If I go down, I go down. No point of trying. Already made it this far, I still get paid. So that's what I'm saying. Boxing is dying out. People want action. People want excitement. People want how it used to be back at Tyson's era. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. Maximum violence. That's what people want to see. That's what I want to see. I don't want to, them, after the fight, going out and kissing and hugging each other and eating burgers and all that. What is it? It seems like WWE. You don't know if they tried. You don't know if they actually hate the other person. You know, it, it seems like a glorified sparring match. That's what it seems. How can you even put the money on it? How bookies can bet the money on if the both guys not even trying their hardest? You know, it, it, it's a sham from that point of view. And that's why I'm, I'm looking for this fight because I know there they will going to be some bad blood. Why definitely going to try to win this fight. 
and it will gonna be exciting people and that's why you need to tune it in i gonna be tuning in i gonna be watching this fight Sadly, I could not get the ticket because I thought it was going to be in a big arena, but it's an all too. But regardless, that's how I'm putting on White. That's why I like his boxing style, his persona. Because he's out there. He's out there to win. He still has it. He has, you know, the sell point. But, um, yeah, I do understand he's a underdog in this fight. But in my eyes, I hope he's going to win. And now, um, yeah, you know, I, I can root for him. So, yeah, guys, tune it in. Till the next time, and Mr. Zass out, and stay strong.